Okay guys, I got a serious question to ask y'all. Does anyone know what the hell happened to the YouTuber Scrubby? Like, I remember him being one of the biggest commentary channels that blew up. It's actually really crazy to think about because I saw this guy when he was really small, just, you know, just making YouTube videos, having fun. And then he made a video on Lil Tay and boom, channel blew up. And it was really cool to see his channel blow up in real time and just kind of watch along with the journey. What's up everybody? I'm a Marks and today we're going to talk a little bit about Scrubby and then we're going to discuss what has happened to him. So Scrubby was a YouTuber who did reaction commentary style videos and he would also do a uh, fan story time videos and also talk about his stories on another channel called Scrubs. This is also post edgy YouTube era where apparently you can no longer say whatever you want you could on YouTube because back then two years at, like before this, uh, you could basically say anything you want on the internet and get monetized for it. It was kind of a wild thing to look back on if you think about it. Watching his videos, he seemed like a pretty laid back individual who just made about random commentary videos and just reacted to random crazy stuff on the internet. And what's actually interesting too was I did interact with him at one point when he was active on YouTube and he commented on one of my videos and he called me a boomer and then the crazy part is it was four years ago and I can't believe it's been that long since he commented and fuck YouTube was definitely a little bit different back then it's actually kind of crazy that it's been that long now guys I do have a confession to make I was very guilty of hopping on the reaction commentary trend back then and that's how this channel kind of got started with the face cam and everything but as you know now, I kind of evolved to doing my own thing and it's kind of it's kind of like a little insp inspiration right there. 2018 was kind of wild. Like all it was back then was reaction commentary on YouTube or Fortnite. It was just like one or the other. Now, what makes Scrubby very interesting is that like he is a more tame version of Leafy is here because he had the same formula and style, but he actually had his own personality too, obviously. But he seemed just more like a playful, laid back version of Leafy where he was playfully like making fun of something instead of just directly attacking and bullying the person. And to be fair, guys, if you're trying to play by YouTube's very strict rules and guidelines, you kind of do have to censor yourself quite a bit now than you did back then. Other commentary channels ascended during this era as well as Benji, Trigger Tro, Cyrus, and, and even Jamari. Before he even switched to Trendy Topic uh, commentary, he was one of the OG reaction commentary channels during this time as well. All of these content creators also did very similar content like Scrubby and they also edited their videos the very same way and everything. But they all faded way before like Scrubby did and I don't know why to be honest they just all I guess lost interest or whatnot or they got their bag but uh, Scrubby was the last one of these uh, reaction commentary YouTubers that was in the reaction genre that was post leafy. It's kind of wild too because Cyrus was really close friends with Scrubby but unfortunately Cyrus ended up being a piece of shit and he ended up being a creeper and a predator and he was caught doing some horrible things with minors and I think that made a huge impact on how Scrubby would leave his YouTube journey. Now, what I can say is being a content creator can be very stressful and time consuming. And I couldn't imagine doing more than one like channel at once because Scrubby was working his ass off after his channel blew up, doing constant uploads on story times and doing constant uploads of reaction commentary. I feel like that could burn anyone out. Then if your audience is really young, they get older. And then YouTube also evolves over time too. And sometimes if you don't evolve with the current times, that could also stagnate your channel and then people will stop watching, unfortunately, and it sucks. Unfortunately, Scrubby's viewership was going down and taking massive dips, but for his numbers, it was still really good because at the end of the day, guys, some people's like low numbers are some other YouTubers' best numbers. So it's like a really interesting perspective to look at it in that way. Now, the hardest part about being a successful YouTuber is not always posting consistently and always putting in the work. That's one thing, right? But what makes it way harder too is trying to stay relevant within your audience and your YouTube channel and to keep the channel growing at consistent numbers. And trying to get people to watch you for your personality and not for the topics you post. I've had that happen to me in the past, making like shock, shocking video content. And unfortunately, it was a tough pill to swallow. But it was indeed a lesson well learned. 
Unfortunately, over time, Scrubby just started uploading less and less. He went from daily uploads and then went to weekly uploads, and then eventually it started going to monthly uploads, and then it got to a point where it started like posting every once in a while or not at all and just like vanishing on the on his main channel and then posting more consistently on his Scrubs channel. So about five years of consistently making reaction commentary videos, Scrubby does leave a final comment on his Scrubs channel, and it does say Hi guys, just wanted to let you know that I don't think I'll be posting anymore. It was an incredible time, but I think it's just time to move on with my life. I am just happier doing other things now. Thank you guys. It was just a simple and direct way to end his YouTube channel. Like at least like he told people that he was done making videos in a comment than just like not uploading a single video about talking about it or leaving anything at all for let people know because a lot of YouTubers will just fucking vanish from the internet. It was honestly a really good thing that he was able to communicate with his audience enough to let them know that, hey, I'm done. Now, I do think Scrubby did get some severe content burnout because, man, he was definitely working like a machine. Like, I couldn't imagine making videos like that where you're talking about the same things all the time, similar scripts, talking about the similar stories, the huge demand with his fan base because it was huge with like 2 million subscribers. Yeah, I can understand how like that can make anyone really tired. And he also admitted that he didn't get to go outside very much during this whole time making videos. And that's actually kind of insane to think about because everyone deserves a break, even if it's something you really enjoy doing. He also, in fact, did peak at a very young age. When in 2018, I was about 20 years old and he was only a year younger than me and he was only 19 when his channel blew up. And yeah, I don't know about y'all, but that's a very early start to some YouTube success. Also, what a great start to adult life in general. And I'm not gonna lie guys, when I talk about stuff like this, it makes me feel kind of old in some way because it's like six years ago, but I'm only 26, so it doesn't, I'm not like that old, you know, but fuck. It's so, time is scary, dude. Now, what is Scrubby up to these days? Ever since he posted his last video, I haven't been able to find anything new about him at all. His Twitter is very private now. He's been very inactive. All I can find is his scrubby Instagram fan accounts, and I think he deleted his Instagram or privated it at least. And it just seems like he's 100% has private his life entirely from social media. And honestly, I could, I could respect that 100% because it takes some serious guts and balls to kind of disconnect yourself like that because there's a lot of people, including me, that are definitely addicted to their phones or social media in general. But one thing I will say is I hope Ryan is living his life to the fullest and he's enjoying his YouTube money. Okay, everybody, that will conclude today's video. If you got this far into the video, thank you guys so much for watching. Now, this video for me is a mouthful. I don't know why, but when I was talking throughout the video behind the scenes, my mouth was getting dry. And you won't believe how many takes I had to do, but unfortunately, you guys will not be able to see them. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. And if you guys really enjoy my content of me just talking about stuff on the internet, make sure to hit subscribe because I'll be posting a lot of videos like this weekly. And yes, I've been posting a lot more. It's so nice. <laughs> but yes, thank you all for watching. Until further on, do guys, take care.